Hey guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So this is a Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's the Snapdragon variant and uh, just today I got a system update uh, that also removes the GOS or at least allows you to disable GOS on this device. So you need to have this build number, just check it, AVC9. And uh, then to disable GOS, um, it's the same as the Exynos. Go to Game Tuner Labs and just select this alternate game performance management, right? So actually, even without this option, the performance is still better than previously. But uh, I guess it's better to just enable to get the most out of it. Okay, so we'll test Genshin Impact performance today, and here you can see everything is set to highest. And uh, I'll follow my usual 10 minutes play route in Inazuma region and uh, I'll show you the real-time FPS and power consumption. But of course, feel free to fast forward to the end of the video for the temperature and uh, FPS and power results. Right, so without further ado, let's go.
山王的声音，固若金汤。禁止接触。跟上的。咬不下师傅的枪法，说寒话说。直接出。工作室，我来保护大家，讲不通你就打扁了。天动万象，安如磐石。Now after 10 minutes of gameplay, let's check the device temperature. Here we see similar results when previously we disabled GOS manually. So the device reached a temperature of 46 to 47 degrees at its hottest spot, which is much higher than with GOS on.
Now here for performance, we do see a pretty healthy improvement. So previously the device was only able to run the game at 32 to 33 FPS before the update with GOS on. But now the 10 minutes average is 42 FPS. So this result is also almost the same as what we did when we previously uh, disabled GOS using an unofficial way. So yeah, that's about uh, the true performance of this device. Uh, here something is more interesting. We see the FPS is actually a bit more stable than previously because at first the device will lock your FPS to 50. It doesn't allow you to reach 60. So that way uh, it generates a bit less heat and it can sustain the so-called uh, stable FPS for a little bit longer. And I think that this is legit strategy and I have nothing to complain about this. But then the power consumption is also much higher here. Uh, the average becomes 6.6 .6 watt, right? So comparing to with GOS on, it was less than 5 watt, right? It was 4 point something. Um, yeah, so with higher performance uh, comes higher power consumption at higher temperature. But at least you have the option now. So that's what happens after this GOS update. Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.